can a rifle scope glint in the sun? Well, sure it can. It certainly is possible. But how common is scope glint? Well, that's what this video is all about. Let me tell you about my setup. At the range that we're going to, the main firing line is set up in such a way that shooters are shooting almost perfectly to the east. For this reason, most shooters don't go out to that range early in the morning during sunrise because that sun, especially now in the fall where the sun kind of just slowly makes its way up over those mountains, um, that sun will be right in your eyes, right in your face, and right in the rifle scope. So what I'm doing is uh, I shot a target I put out at 350 yards, and I shot that with my 6.5 Grendel with this Collis 3 to 18 power scope with a 50 millimeter objective. I placed my camera at 200 yards looking back at my shooting position. Now I was going to place it at 350 but everything became so darn small that I moved it up to 200 yards. Now, let me give you a little sneak peek of what to look for. Notice that glint? You can see it. A little flash. And a little flash. Once again, once again. Well, that's what we're looking for. So now, let me run the full couple minutes of video footage and see if you can detect the glint from this rifle. I am going to move this rifle. In a traverse. See if I can pick up any glint. And of course, we're going to move it up and down. Right at the sun. All different sorts of pan directions here. Now, just for the heck of it, I'm going to use a mirror to see if the mirror, I can catch that. glinting. The mirror is just to my right of the scope. Now it's at the same height. I don't know if anything was detected. I'm kind of curious to see what that camera is going to have picked up. I'm now putting the mirror away and going back to the rifle. Well, we're back. Let's go ahead and talk about what happened. You know, 
I watch this over and over again, and I cannot detect any glint from that rifle scope. The glint that we saw in the sneak peek that I gave you earlier was from this mirror that I used out there. Well, I borrowed it from my wife, and I particularly chose that mirror because it is circular. And uh, you saw a lot of glint from that mirror. Now, why did the mirror glint and the rifle scope did not? A couple of reasons for that. First of all, the sheer size of that mirror. That mirror has six times or 600% of the area compared to my rifle scope. The rifle scope is a 50 millimeter scope and that mirror is 125 millimeter diameter. We can easily do the calculation for area and we'll see that that mirror was six times the size or 600% larger than the rifle scope. That's one reason. The second reason is the mirror is designed to be a reflector. It's designed to reflect and uh, reflect as well as possible. Third is that scope has got coatings on it. Most scopes have coatings on it and some of those coatings of course can reduce uh, the reflectivity of, um, of light uh, as well. So what we saw is that, or what we now know, is that while a rifle scope can glint, it certainly is possible, I've heard plenty of, I'm certain, true stories about this, a rifle scope can glint, but does it happen all the time? Certainly not. In fact, we tried and tried and tried, could not get it to glint at all um, today. So, thanks for watching. If you've got some ideas, post those into the comments below. Like to hear your ideas or thoughts on scope glint. Take care and thanks for watching.